I never thought I'd buy a house in Japan. Older Japanese houses are beautiful, but they get way too hot in the summer, way too cold in the winter, and they typically require a ton of renovations before they're really safe or livable. On the other hand, most modern factory built Japanese houses are kind of the exact opposite. They're hyper functional, but they sort of lack the soul and the warmth of traditional Japanese architecture, of, a, of an older Japanese house. And there isn't really a third option. This is what I thought, at least, until about 14 months ago when my wife discovered a small local housing company called Scenery House. And what we ended up building together isn't just a house, but it's also an office as well as a guest room in southern Japan that my other YouTube buddies and my Twitch friends can come out you know, they can come out to the place and visit and relax and make videos of their own at. And um, it's it's really unbelievable. <laughs> Naturally, this whole thing is, is a big risk for me. It's sort of a big gamble. But when I saw the kind of spaces that the team at Scenery House was making, I felt like I had to step up to the plate and get out of my comfort zone and go way above budget such that they could make something truly special. And I don't regret it for a second because I'll just let the house speak for itself. <laughs> I want to say a big thank you to Norm from Tokyo Lens, as well as Manu, another one of my YouTube buddies who's launching a new channel that we just collaborated on. I want to thank both of them for coming out and helping me with this video. And I want to say a big thank you to all of you guys for your support over the years. None of this would have been possible without you guys. And thanks to all of your support, I think we really were able to build something remarkable, something truly special. So. Thank you again to all of you. I think that most people want to just see the, see the house though, so I'll stop talking and we can start the house tour now. So this is Dogen and Norm and uh, Manu, and we've finally gotten to the inside of my house. They don't know what to expect, and now we're going to start the inside of the, the house tour. So, okay, open your eyes. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh. No! <laughs> oh, that's lovely! So right now, we're at the, in the Genkan naturally, but one of the cool things is that we've got, this is the guest game gong, so this, such that you can oh. kind of go through here and it's clean and you don't have to see like all of our oh, dirty shoes, shoes and stuff like oh, that. Oh, so there's two entrances? And then this is the family oh. shoe closet. Ah, right whoa, that's so, okay. cute. <laughs> it is like you have a secret room. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I like, I've always thought if I ever built a house that I would want like a secret passageway, like uh. a secret hidden, you have that. Yeah. We can just kind of walk in here right now, but Norm, where you're, <laughs> you're standing right oh. now, there's a little like coat hanger rack right now that's still above the right. the, the genkan, like doma, like the actual stone out, floor. Out, yeah, out, yeah the, the stone floor. And so, like on a rainy day, you can hang up your uh, your coats here. You probably saw this at the beginning. Yeah. You were wondering, like, you know, what this is. What the architect did is he said you've got this larger piece of land, mm. and the reason that it's it's cheap is because it doesn't have a view, but I still want you to have a nice view of something because you're surrounded by houses. Let's put in nature in the middle of the house, mm -hmm. and they built the house around this. This section of the house right here on the on the right side of the courtyard, this is kind of like the sleeping area, yeah. and then this is kind of like the rest of right living area. Kind of. Yeah, so maybe we'll check this out, this yeah. area out first. Check it out. Thank you. So, ooh, ooh, oh, <laughs> oh that's so cool. No! Is it like a working area kind of? Yeah, so... So cool. This area right here, this is my daughter's room. Mm. And if you kind of look, if you're... If someone points it out to you, you'll notice it immediately, but if you divide the room like this, yeah. it's symmetrical. Yeah. Completely symmetrical. In the future, yeah. when, when my daughters want more privacy, we're gonna build another wall here, and they're each gonna have their own room. And then these these doors come in from the sides. Yeah. Kind of like close here, and everyone has their own door kind of thing. Also. Exactly. Because this room 
if you were to split it in two, mm -hmm. it would become two slightly semi, like mm -hmm. uh, uh, smaller, tiny, tiny yeah. rooms. We tried to move the desks that they would use for studying out of the room uh, and into the hallway. So there's this, so there's this giant desk that comes across the entire length of the hallway and naturally they can put up like their study books and stuff like that in the future here. The kitchen is right across the way. Yeah. Such that, you know, my wife can be like, hey, you know, dinner is ready or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And she can kind of, you know, check up on, on them and I can check up on them as well from the opposite side of the house. Little details also that I think are really cool, like the light source from the back here. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad you noticed that. It's yeah. called a concept show me. You can only right. see the light reflecting off of something else. Like a passive kind of illumination, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Maybe we can go to yeah. my, my, my bedroom now. Okay. Thank you. Ah, that's awesome also. Oh, wow. oh, I thought it like yeah. connected, but it, it just, doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, and you're, you're gonna see why in a second. One of the things that we decided to go with, it was a much more expensive option, but um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to pay it off in the future by making more videos like this, <laughs> is um, we have central air conditioning. In the summer, cold air will come down from above, yeah. and in the winter, hot air will come up from below. So I think it's also worth mentioning that being in Japan for what, the past? <laughs> Decade and a half. This is only the third home I've ever seen that has central air. Yeah, it's yeah. not common. One of the things that the architect said is like the fact that you no longer see these kind of like big machines yeah. in each like individual room. He's like, that'll make a, a major difference. I totally agree with him though, because I think that's usually like even if you have a super beautiful Mm. Japanese house or like a really beautiful room, the air condition is usually the, the one thing that kind of almost stands out as like mm. clunky. It's got that tube yeah, that goes yeah, from yeah, it and yeah. opens a hole in the wall. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you're putting your hand right now, huh. there, there are going to be uh, roll screens that come down. Okay. So another thing that this house uh, doesn't have is it doesn't have any curtains. Mm. Maybe we can check out the first floor. Yeah. Amazing Japanese toilet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I you go first for this one. <laughs> the most important so, I mean, it's part just of a, the house. It's just a basic, you know, well, I mean, even a basic Japanese toilet is typically quite nice yeah. compared to like back in the States, but um, <laughs> I don't, you guys can just kind of check it out. And yeah, sure. I like, I like these small little details with the plant, though I guess that's still from the, is that from Yeah, that's from you? the housing oh. company. That may not be there in the future. Okay. But. All the ninja stuff is what I'm loving. Ah, right, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the hidden cat, you don't even know it's there, then the you find the knob. Things. Okay, so now we're going to go into kind of the, uh, I don't know, family kitchen area of the house. What? Mm. This is the nicest kitchen mm. I've ever seen in my entire life, <laughs> literally. <laughs> yes! Right? This is like a TV kitchen. You get to keep this, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the best question ever. <laughs> now, one of the things that um, you might be wondering perhaps uh, subconsciously is where is like the uh, the kitchen hood like when you're cooking where did the fumes oh, go man. is that it that's it uh... so um my wife was pretty adamant about she cooks a lot i don't do any cooking she asked the architect like you know normally kitchen kitchens have like these these low hoods and i understand that it's, it's necessary but is there any way to create that ventilation system without having this low kitchen hood right. such that, you know, I can I can have a view of the of the of the trees and the vegetation. So what they've done is behind this vent right here and actually inside mm. there, there's like a high powered fan. Mm. That sucks the air in. Yeah, and so all the air that comes up from here, it pushes it out to the outside of the house. Fridge will go here. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> Naturally. Of course. It's like they they really, you know, don't make it any bigger than it needs to be. Yeah. It's like, this is the size of your fridge. Okay, we're gonna work with that size. Oh. And... So you picked kind of all oh, my, with all the hidden doors. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, cool. so this is my, uh, my, my wife's kitchen, or pantry, oh. rather. So now I'm gonna tell you probably what's maybe my favorite thing about the house. And that's this window. Not only is, is, is the frame itself wood, but in making this wood... Uh, 
Oh, that was beautiful. It also oh means God. it also means that like this area here. Yeah. There's no like aluminum here. It's just you know. Wood. Yeah, wood. And if you come over to the kitchen again and look at look out from the kitchen while this is open, now that the uh, you know the pillar in the middle is gone, it's like this. Big open. Oh, that's so cool. It's almost like a painting. You can open this up this wide, and because the house is built around, you don't have to worry about an intrusive breeze coming in or anything like, oh, like yeah. a strong wind or anything. You just get this gentle yeah. feeling of out. I can't yeah. put it into good words. Mm. You get the point. Also, what looks really nice is the green of the momiji with like the black. The yeah. Black. I like the lot. Do they mm. change color as well in autumn? Yes. Yes, that will yes. also probably look mm. really awesome. In Japan is extremely hot during the summer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> and so there's going to be times when we want to block out the incoming sunlight, yeah. right? And that was a giant window that didn't have any curtains on it. And again, there's no curtain rail up here. Rather than curtains for the larger areas of the house when they want to block out the sunlight, mm. we've got these these built-in. That's so clean. It's so good. Uh, probably good to get it from this side. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Like when the sun's coming up in the morning, it'll be coming up from that side, such mm -hmm. that you can kind of just barely make out the silhouettes of the trees. Yeah. I got them off, she would do. Yeah. This was a thing that the designer like insisted mm. on, the, or the architect rather. He said, I, I don't use curtains. Yeah. And so, in place of that, we're going to use this tra traditional Japanese, you know, paper doors. We're gonna use that instead. That. So cool. All right, so now we're gonna come over here to the living area. And there's another thing here. Yeah, and what's, so what's even cooler about this one mm -hmm. over here is this is what's known as Yukimi Shoji. And just the <laughs> may, may I sit? You uh, may. <laughs> the whole purpose of these is yeah. like, if it snows during winter, you can kind of, you know, just get like a, a kind of taste of the, snow. Of, of the outside, yeah, the snow on the outside over there. But like this kind of for privacy again. Like yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. You can kind of maintain that same yeah, privacy. So cool. I also like these windows up there, just like flooding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of Here's another uh, example of the, uh, you know, mm. or not tatami shoji. Mm. And then this is a uh, zousaku sofa. So mm. it's built in. Oh, nice. My wife and I are both big coffee lovers, mm. and we thought it would be kind of motai nai, um, kind of like what we were talking about earlier. Like we don't need a table if that table's not being used. Right. So these are, you know, cup holders. That, that is so cool. So, you know, coffee, put it down over here. Is this also part of the ventilation or is that just... It is. That's okay. a really good catch. Oh, cool. So the, the hot air comes from under the couch. And, and you'll, you guys will love this, but the specific reason that there is a, uh, a land port down here yeah. is because I'm a YouTuber. And in the future, I plan on doing live streams from different areas of the house, oh. and it's always good to have a wired connection. Ah, and smart. this is a really great looking part of the house. Yeah. So it'd be great to do interviews on this couch Absolutely. right here, and sometimes, you know, live, uh, live stream those straight to, you know, Twitch or whatever. It's actually kind of funny that you mention it because like this, kind of color scheme also reminds me of the setup you have for your studio. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like with the blue and everything, it's kind of like your sweater. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But now we can come over here. So before you, try try for now to look over this direction. Try yeah. not to look down that way, just All right. <laughs> um, and actually you can look, kind of, <laughs> you can look like, like over here. Right here, this is clearly, you know, the area where the washing machine is gonna go. The washing machine is here, mm. and then you, you didn't think about this when we saw it earlier, but you're gonna realize, oh, that's true when I point it out right now. Right. The girls' room and my room didn't have closets. Right. And the reason for that is because there's one, there's oh, that's only the... one family closet. Oh, wow. That's gigantic. Well, there, there's four people, 
and there are no other closets in the house. Right. This is an intentional design decision. When the laundry is done, here, uh, you take one step and put it in the closet right. rather than walking it all the way across the house yes. to the other side. I've never really thought about this, but honestly, after taking a shower or like before, mm. you know, at night or something, most of your changing happens there in or near the laundry room or bathroom anyway. anyway. Yeah. Exactly. If I stop there, I don't actually get changed in my bedroom almost ever. Yeah, like how many- I've never thought about many, that. How many times do you like, you know, have like your, your underwear, or like your t-shirts, like you put them on like the sink next to the bathroom rather than mm. walking across the house naked. There's another door right here. You can yeah, close cool. this and you know, use the closet when you need to Is use it. Is it changing room kind of? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Is this a pull-up bar? That was not one of the It is, this is a pull-up bar. I was insist, I used to be into martial arts tricking. I really like doing pull-ups and working out, but it's, Unless you buy one of these oh, equipment thingies. equipment things that take up half a room, yeah. then it's really hard to yeah. do pull-ups in like a modern Japanese mm. house. Because Japanese door frames aren't built to have those exactly. ones exactly. that hook exactly. on, you just break it right off. Yeah, I have yeah, like yeah. something in my room that I don't think is meant for it, because I think it's more like a hanger kind of this, but I do use it for pull-ups. Okay, though. just be careful. <laughs> Earlier we talked about how Beppu is like the uh, onsen capital of Japan. And as a result of that, there are many houses in Beppu, regardless of whether they're expensive houses or not, that have mm. built-in onsen. And we have an onsen as well. Uh, <laughs> like we're about to get spirited away. Oh so here we go. <laughs> oh yes! Oh my god, oh. what? That is so And good. it has its own private little window with oh. the garden there. Oh yes. Norm, earlier when we were in the bedroom, that sounds so bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One of the things that you said is, oh, your your bedroom doesn't wrap around. It doesn't connect. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is because, again, onsen, they have materials that can corrode. Yeah. There's waterproofing behind this wall that it kind of extends all the way around there, right. such that even if we're using onsen, it doesn't go into the bedroom over there. The moisture, there. yeah. Exactly, exactly. That's the second home media, I guess. It is, it is. Uh, and actually, found it. <laughs> uh, feel free to come down here and sit down. There's a big oh, cutout. You can see it. Oh, of the sky wow. up there. Oh, yes. I have like a really weird obsession with like places. Like, it's been like nice onsen. Mm. That like, mm. if you have, with a nice view, mm. where you kind of like relax and kind of like embrace. Yeah, mm. this is so nice. Mm. I got a recommendation for you later. Yeah, please. One of the biggest problems that I have with showers globally mm. is that the, the shower head is always mm. so small mm. and you, you got constantly like move around and find that yes. position yeah, yeah, where yeah. you don't have that problem here because this, look at this. Mm. It's yeah. just... <laughs> Yeah, I'm a, I'm a tall person. A tall person. <laughs> yeah. And if you this this right here, um, this is what would you say standard height uh. for a Japanese <laughs> wow. shower. And oh, but you have a really nice microphone. When yeah. You want to sing <laughs> yeah, in the yeah, shower. yeah. It was a stupid question. I said, well, how are we gonna water those trees? And the architect was like, just use the shower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. True, true, true. So, Dogen, can I see my room? Yes, you may, you may. I'm moving in, by the way. As a YouTuber that doesn't live in Tokyo, <laughs> both of you do live in Tokyo, and I want to make videos with you guys, but I can't fly out to Tokyo all the time, and you guys can't come to Beppo all the time because hotels are expensive, so I really wanted to have a, a guest room. Okay. <laughs> so this is the guest room. Nice! And the reason it's here is because we wanted to make a space where the guests could, if they wanted to, to stay up at night and work, uh, to, to use like their speakers on their laptops, oh. and not worry about whether they were going to wake us up or not. So there's another bathroom Oh my here. god, that's so... So when you guys come... Oh. Oh, that's so cool. And you, you know, want to stay up and, right. you know, edit a video at night and you need to use the bathroom. There's no way we would hear anything that's happening right. here. It's like so from that amps. side. Of, yeah, mm. it's, it's up and it's across like this big open area. So, yeah, oh, you actually yeah, 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 yeah. 
Holy, that's a big closet. You can have a whole extra guest in there. Yeah, we wanted at least room, at least room for um, suitcases. And stuff. Two, yes, yeah, two uh, futon. Ah, oh, right. In case two people want to come at a time. Yeah. Space for like your your camera gear, your backpacks, and stuff like that. And that's what this is for. And then again, there's a there's a plug up here so that you guys can charge. <laughs> yeah, charge batteries, charge your cameras, etc., etc. This so. has just been so thought through. This is fun for like the kids. Like that's if they're it. playing up here, they can you know, hey daddy, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever you know. So you play Nerf with them and yeah. <laughs> take the high ground. Just pop, 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 pop. You should build up some mystery for like the viewers and be like. I can't believe that you yeah. get to look yeah, out yeah. the window and see. Is that the actual Imperial Palace there? <laughs> <laughs> this is the shoe closet that we came in earlier, then that's the kitchen area, just for kind of frame of reference. Um, and then this is kind of just some additional storage. Oh, ooh, that space there is already so cool. <laughs> oh, I'm getting antsy now. This okay. would already be pretty fun as an office, honestly. Yeah, so one of the things that the architect said that I thought was so interesting is you work from home, but the thing about working from home, and we've talked about this a lot, yeah. is that when you work where you live slash sleep, it's very hard to distinguish between working mode and relaxation mm. and or non-working mode. I appreciate that so, so much, yeah. yeah well this like we talked about this, I struggle with that because I'm still shooting most of my stuff. Exactly. In my bedroom. Exactly. Which it, it's hard. sucks to yeah, yeah, it's like, when do I say it's time to go to bed? And chill and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, okay, I just stopped working, but I'm sitting in the same chair now just watching Netflix. Am, yes. I, am I working or am yes. I? And it's like, as a dad, you gotta decide. It's like, no, I need like family time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go into the uh, office now. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, uh, that's oh, my God. Sound separation here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that is so cool. Get the experience. What? It, what? it looks so much better than you described. Oh, you suck at describing oh things. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is amazing. When we were uh, in the very initial stages, he, he said, you're currently working from home in your own office. What's like the number one thing that's most difficult? If you could change, what would you do? And I said, you can both appreciate this for sure, that when you film in your room, your room starts to become a forest of tripods. Yes. I asked him, I said, do you think there's any way that we can set up a lighting system such that I can get enough light mm. and like enough flexibility to change things when I when I need to and not need to put in this giant Stance. light tripod that's currently uh, in my office. Uh, and he said, I'll see what I can do. And um, what he ended up doing is what you see up here. There's these light rails that yeah. go across the ceiling. Most of the time, these aren't even going to be on. Yeah. And it's going to be instead these side lights. Uh, it just looks so good, even just this. The reason that the ceiling is like this, as opposed to just completely flat, is, and I don't know if, how much this is actually working, hmm. but apparently, like a box, a box room, echoes a lot more. Hmm. Oh, you're giving a lot less echo because of this. If you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. If you go like this, versus going like this, yeah. you can tell. Oh yeah, that's interesting. If you go like this, like, yeah. Versus. Yeah. And then behind here. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, so this is where my, my desk is gonna go. Nice. Is that the desk? The yeah. So this yeah. is the standing desk, and it's currently in a position where it would, it would hit this. <laughs> yeah. But um. I'm going to obviously move it a little bit more forward. The architect, uh, he said, everywhere there's a map, there's a window. There's got to be some green as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, this is also. I open nice. that up and this I see that. This is yeah. kind of like. And then my, uh, the pantry is right yeah, over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Just like honestly, it makes the it makes the pantry and kitchen area like command central. <laughs> you know what I mean? True. If yeah. you are there, you can direct everyone in the house. Kids, come on, yeah. do it. Let's go. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just such a great space to be able to call your own. How, yeah. Okay, you're getting our reaction and everything, but yeah. how do you, like you? How do you feel about it? I am pleased beyond words. I'm trying to make this house as much a cool space for people like you and my other friends, you know, our other buddies, Chris, Joey, yeah. Garnt, Connor, etc., etc. 
a place that they can come and feel welcome and we can, you know, chill and make videos together. It's it's more than just Dogen's house. Yeah. I felt so privileged to work with this architect and it's like, if I'm presented with this opportunity, then I want to try and push myself beyond my limits and, you know, make something that's even out of my own reach. I feel like just as a creator standing here, mm. like you kind of want to create something. Yeah, yeah exactly. So yeah. Exactly. you're gonna, yeah. Like as we've been going through, I'm like, oh, I can shoot this here. I can shoot that there. Yeah. I'm a big fan of Japanese traditional, we talked about this a lot, mm. like traditional Japanese architecture, but it has a lot of drawbacks. But then yeah. when you combine it with like a lot of modern elements as mm. we've done it here. Yeah, yeah, like... Um, when it kind of shines the most almost, I feel. Yeah, it's, it, it, it is kind of like, what would you say? Japanese ar architecture 2.0. Right, of. yeah. This is sad that you can't capture it in video, mm. but like mm. this, I would like, I don't know, smell and yeah. like touch. Just the smell. Yeah. Yeah. I keep, Dogen keeps getting mad at me because I keep touching it. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we can head back over to the uh, yes. Nakaniwa and maybe we can just like chill out there for yeah, a second. Yeah, absolutely. Like older Japanese houses and like temples, they have this thing called an engawa, mm. which is which is essentially what we're on right now. Mm. It's like this long kind of porch thing right. that goes right along the windows. Oftentimes like a, uh, you know, it'd be like the granny that has like tea out here or whatever. And, you know, we plan on putting like a like a little table out here, like just a small little like you know deck set. There's nothing else to say. I think. Congrats, man. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations yeah, uh, on this place. It's been a long yeah, time I'm coming. <laughs> wow. Oh, I love the birds. Very peaceful. Yeah. yeah it's like oh. <laughs> it's almost like comically like tranquil here. So that's the place guys and again I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. I'm completely blown away. Of course we've got a couple more videos in the pipeline related to the house but I imagine some of you may have questions about sort of like the building process, the materials, the cost of everything or just parts and you know etc etc. So feel free to leave those questions down below and I'll try and answer all of those in a separate video. And I would also say, please check out Norm and Manu's videos on the house as well. They're both way better at making this kind of content than me. They're just both incredible creators. So I would encourage everyone to check out their channels and their videos that are linked down below. Thank you again to all of you guys for your continued support and I'll see you again soon. Sayonara.